还有 M R V， 又一次再一次，其实。<笑> So it brings up your fitness and your confidence. Mm-hmm. Like if you're wanting to build up your self-esteem and stuff, it's great for that. It's fun and energetic, and you get to do good stuff at the end. Of it. And you, can, you always think at the start, "Oh my God, I will never be able to do that." But there's always a way. There's always a solution for you to learn a certain dance move. So if they don't have the confidence, and they'll build the confidence through the right dance. Free to Dance is a project which is funded by the Scottish Government Health Improvement Strategy uh, to work with teenage girls aged 13 to 19 across three areas, Ayrshire, Glasgow and Orkney. By the age of 14, teenage girls tend to drop out of physical activity in comparison to boys. By the age of 16, around 40% or one in three teenage girls are not actively participating in physical activity. The girls that, w- that we are working with are um, girls that really don't like competitive sports, that um, have quite low self-confidence, self-esteem levels, that maybe haven't participated in your normal PE activities in the past and so dance is another way into physical activity for them. PE can be quite popular, kind of first and second year. When it comes to kind of third and fourth year, we tend to find the numbers, uh, the girls getting involved are dropping off. Um, sometimes these disaffected pupils, uh, maybe not like the, the team sports that are offered or some of the games that are offered. So the free to dance have t- um, came in to help with that, to help those disaffected pupils uh, get more involved in the PE experience. We were approached by Y Dance as one of the authorities which had been selected for the Free to Dance project, that being Ayrshire, Glasgow and Orkney, and we were absolutely delighted. Uh, we were being offered um, a huge amount of dance time, um, professionalism, we were being offered tutors, we were being offered um, the, the service both in school and community settings, a partnership which um, was almost ready-made. So there was just, there was just a win-win situation for us all round. We try to partner with organisations that already worked with teenage girls, that already had a group of teenage girls, whether that was youth services or social services or active schools. Um, we wanted to partner with a variety of partners because obviously we wanted to make sure we give ourselves a real opportunity to try and reach as many girls as possible. The girls don't need any dance experience at all. Um, if they have, that's not a hindrance either. They can, they can certainly come along if they've been to a few dance classes in the past. But if they come along and say, I've never danced other than in my bedroom when no one's watching, then that's perfectly fine as well. It's all about taking part. I don't know, it just it makes you feel better when you're dancing and stuff and you don't feel... No, just you feel good about yourself, man. Socialising with more people makes you feel good about yourself too. I think I'm feeling fitter than I used to be. Just more active, you know. It's extremely important for them to take part in regular physical activity, particularly for their own health, um, their, li- their well-being. Um, Act to School's message is about getting 60 minutes a day for every single child. So the Free to Dance project provides us with that opportunity. Dance, like other physical activities, uh, builds strength, improves flexibility, um, improves coordination, balance, agility, but also skills such as uh, communication, being able to work in a team, be able to interact with other young people, be able to communicate with them and listen to them. And these are all transferable skills. Um, if we go to like, we need a practical session for like, we're just and got to pass it. And the Y dance is helping us get it. We need to go for three months to get it. But it's became more than just like uh. the Duke of Edinburgh. It's like something that we've actually took a, took a board and would maybe like to do in the future, like dancing. It's just great. I really think that it's giving them a, a newfound confidence um, in life in general. I've, I've had girls come and tell me that they've started up a new activity outside of school and outside of the Free to Dance project. Two of the girls recently, um, just through come to the Y dance, have started going out jogging. 
um, on their own in their own time as well, which is I, I personally feel has been encouraged by their participation in the Y dance mm -hmm. because they weren't really that interested. Yeah, in they're more aware more. of their body and mm -hmm. aware of their fitness levels, and you know, because when you are dancing, it is quite, you know, tiring <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> So, you know, the fact that they're taking part in other things and the fact that they've got the confidence now to go out and do jogging mm -hmm. and stuff like that and look at alternative resources within their own area to see, well, you know, maybe I could do this and maybe I could do that, which is really encouraging. Mm -hmm. The kinds of locations we work in are um, a range from community halls, church halls, school gymnasiums, um, on the 29th floor in a community flat of a high-rise building, um, you name it, we will get in there if there is girls and we will try our best to work in those situations. Well, it's fun and it brings more girls to the community and if you have like spare time, you can just come and you know, just chill out and dance with the other girls. One of the main things for me in the past term has been targeting the islands. We have four junior highs, we have Stronzy, Westry, uh, one in Hawaii and one on Sandy. Um, the girls do get a lot of opportunity on the islands but dance is not one of them. It does take a lot of time out of your day to get there but it's worth it and the teachers and the girls really appreciate you going out and they enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> I like hip hop. That's good. Well, we've tried out hip hop, like a bit of street and jump style, and my favourite would be hip hop as well. We can try a different style of dance each week we come in, or we can carry on with street dance and hip hop, and maybe in the second term look at starting something new. And then we can introduce styles such as Bollywood, Lindy Hop, cheerleading, uh, jump styles. African dance, you name it, we can we can throw that in there for them. The partnership has been very successful. I think the reputation was the main thing. Um, Why Dance is such a, a good reputation, and um, for being having experienced members of staff um, and very well qualified staff, etc. As well, um, so that's one of the key reasons they're a fantastic partner for us as Active Schools team. I think the tutors are super. Um, they're very patient. They take time with young people that are just not normally dancers or not um, easily fit into kind of groups and um, they just help take their opinion into consideration um, and I think that's great for young people, they're not told what to do. The, the girls um, have a, a quite a good relationship with the tutors now so are, are far more confident, um, a bit more energetic and a lot more uh, creative. They, they'll come forward to you with ideas um, and things that they want to do rather than you just delivering straight. I feel if we go into a class and lay down the law and say this is what you have to do then we don't get very good results but if we're a bit more flexible and kind of work in partnership with the girls then uh, we get much better results. If you've got the right people and, and the, right, the right approach then that's half the battle without any shadow of a doubt. You have to have the right people in place and we've got the right people here, definitely. They're just great role models, the kids really look up to them. Caroline just is um, our, our style of teaching yeah. and is excellent for the girls in, in terms of support and um, I think flexibility as well, mm -hmm. you know, and she'll go with the girls and go with the girls' choices, mm -hmm. which is really important when you're trying to empower young people. Lisa, like, our dance instructor, she's just really like Aye, she's and with the funny. Best. She's <laughs> such a lady. But yeah, we're all having a great time doing it. <laughs>I think we have to highlight the night at the Palace Theatre in Kilmarnock when we had young people from various schools in North Ayrshire performing in front of a packed house, all cheering, all clapping, a really exciting night and just the, this, the, the idea that these young girls can go up and do that in that environment was just tremendous, it really was fantastic, what a night, totally memorable. I think it's excellent in terms of the opportunities, I mean these young girls have never really had the opportunities to achieve much. None of them's ever been in a stage before. No, and it gives them a chance to be something part of something bigger as well mm -hmm. than than just our small team. Yeah. Um, and even just the outfits and getting all the outfits and the whole excitement, makeup, the whole and process, hair and everything. I yeah, because yeah. yeah, we're like doing something and we're not just it's not just going to 
like dancing, it's like building up to doing something, so it encourages you more. It's absolutely fantastic to see a group of girls who have built in confidence, who have built in self-esteem to actually reach and strive towards something such as large scale as that. Um, the girls were so proud to perform in front of their parents and peers and friends. Um, it was just an overall fantastic day. For the future of the Free to Dance project, we have a number of things that we want to work on. Training being a big one of those. Uh, we want to offer a training package for youth workers, active schools coordinators, PE teachers, anyone who wants to increase their dance teaching skills uh, and be able to continue with the work that we've already developed in the future. So sustainability of what we're doing is really key for the project. Next term, there will be opportunities for the girls to take part in the Award in Dance Leadership course and the Intermediate 2 Dance course. We already have a good few girls who have their Award in Dance Leadership and we'll be running sessions for these girls to brush up on their skills and use their skills to get involved in the project. Ultimately, it's about more girls dancing more often. That's, that's the bottom line, but there are other things like are we attracting girls from socio-economically deprived areas? Yes. Are we attracting girls who aren't currently active or are probably not reaching the levels of inactivity? Yes. Are we building up an awareness of the potential of dance within schools and communities? Yes. Are we training up more people to be um, involved with dance either as tutors or as assistants? Yes. Most of us just get home, do homework and then be lazy, but now we have a chance to be in, be in school more and do more active stuff. Orkney is such a small island that there's nothing much you can do, so free to dance was really great because it was something that I could enjoy and something that was just really different. It keeps us for, like, I don't know, it's a really good laugh. Yes. I loved it so much that we changed it for an hour to doing two hours. So we dance the first hour, go back, feed the kids, and then we go back again and do some more dancing. It's fun and energetic and you get to meet new friends and stuff. And when you have a bad day and you go there and then like it's as if it's like everything that you've been like all your problems are like just let go of when you're dancing, it's just good. <laughs>